Good morning, Bangkok! It's been a while since my last vlog, and guys, I apologize, but wow, I got wiped out on my trip to Thailand. I got sick, I was jet lagged, I got sick again, etc, 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 as the King of Siam would have said. Anyway, today's vlog is brought to you by the letter C for cat. There will be lots of cats in today's vlog. Oh, kitty. Hi, Puss Puss. Oh, what a cute cat. Hi. Oh. Right now, we are on Rambu Tree Alley. It's a street in the area of Bangkok called Khao San Road. It's a picturesque little alley, if you can call it that. It's more like a street to me. And seeing how I'm starving and it's breakfast time, we're about to get our first Thai breakfast. The prices here are really good, actually. <laughs> the exchange rate is currently at about uh, 35 baht to one US dollar. Mm -hmm. And if you're lucky, you even get to dine with a cat. Look at that cat. <laughs> so here's my breakfast. One thing that I learned is if you order eggs, you have to ask for them well done, as they will be a little bit runny. And here's another cat. Look at this cutie. In the little alleyways and walkways connecting Rambu Tree to Khao San Road, there are many, many shops to get lost in and drain your wallet faster than you probably had uh, planned on. Uh, tons of these little uh, smoothie stands all over the place. Fresh fruit for about a dollar or two you can get a uh, really good sized fresh fruit smoothie, and you'll need the vitamins from it. Believe me, this place is a madhouse. More food! It's time for lunch. Check this out. Pad Thai from Thailand. So this was 50 baht or 60 baht, and that was... Man. And for dessert, if you're feeling like an American treat, they have plenty of Swenson's here. And now it's time for my first Thailand Uber ride. The, uh, the traffic here is crazy, and this shot right now is actually pretty mellow. But as you can see, there's buses and people walking across the street randomly, uh, tuk-tuks, motorcycles. It's, uh, it's quite a zoo. I'm not sure what these people are doing. They're burning stuff in a bucket on the sidewalk. Interesting, very different culture. You don't see people burning stuff in buckets on sidewalks in America. Here is Flopnosis, cruising in the Uber. 
on his way to downtown Bangkok. Sorry, I'm not a very good singer. What a view. Check out this awesome bus. Look at this little Michelin man on the back. Strapped on there. It's a double-decker bus. After taking in the sights of the city with our Uber driver for a good part of the day, the sun started going down and it was time to head over to the Neon Market. Here's our Uber drive telling us about his first encounter with a lady boy. And you go in the dinking, in the cowboy, and my wife, and go to in the toilet, and the lady boy, Oh my god, oh, 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 my god, my wife, oh, oh, darling, darling, oh, lady boy. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the night market. Nestled in among these tall buildings in downtown Bangkok is the Neon Night Market. Acres and acres, okay, hundreds or I don't know. There's a lot of stalls, there's a lot of uh, trinkets and souvenirs and plenty to, again, spend far more money than you had probably planned on when coming to the city. T-shirts, bags, jeans, shorts, clothing, jewelry, accessories, electronics, etc, 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 as the King of Siam once said. We even have some live music in the bars. And of course, more cats. Now, this is interesting. It's a pet cafe. You can go inside this building and chill with the animals, buy a drink. It's pretty epic. Of course, more gratuitous cat shots, because today is all about the cat. All you can enjoy animal time with the purchase of a drink. Oh my gosh, look at this bird. Oh, I love birds. This is a cockatiel. He's actually really, really no? friendly. Well, he doesn't want to get on my finger. But... Good birdie. Yeah. Aww. 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 Italian sodas, smoothies. Oh, boba. Oh, waffles. Speaking of food, let's uh, check out the food vendors here. Definitely plenty to choose from. Freshly cooked meat. Uh, and if uh, meat's not your thing, how about some insects? Mmm, yum. Seafood. Once you're done with dinner, you can get dessert. These are uh, pretty creative little chocolates. Very cool. And then uh, after dessert, why not a haircut? Sure, that's kind of random, but hey, it's Thailand. All right, that about wraps it up for today's vlog. 
thank you for watching and please subscribe and uh, I'll be back soon with more.